okay again the purpose of this video is to make you understand the basic concepts of backup and recovery backup and recovery in Oracle in less than 10 minutes and the intention is to give you a knowledge that you would get otherwise from 45 minutes of reading or more so I'm trying to to explain a lot of things in a very short time everything in green is a part of Oracle's memory structure every component that has a blue color or even this color is a physical file on a data storage device such as a hard disk active data files and I don't know what whether the word active is an official word from Oracle by saying active I'm saying that the data files that are being used by Oracle background processes to write your data background memory process database writer writes to your data files and it writes the data from database buffer cache it is one of the laziest components of Oracle background processes what it means that in reality your data files can be out of sync at any point in time it means that you may have committed data you have the data that you want to store might not be written to your data files and then you get a message saying committed means data has been recorded log writer background process in con contrast works as hard as possible to write to online redo log files and this data is eventually is written to archive redo log files by a process called archiver if your database is running in archive log mode so online redo log files as you know are written in a circular fashion log writer process writes to one redo log file online redo log file and when one is full it starts writing to the other one and when the other one is full is it starts writing back to the first one so if your database is running in archive log mode what happens before this file is rewritten archiver process writes this data to archive redo log files suppose you were a big warehouse suppose you were a big warehouse and you had 1 million different types of parts in your uh, warehouse and in your database and your company decided to increase the prices by 10% on every type of part that you have so what you'll do you issue a DML statement update parts set price is equal to price plus price times 0 0.10 so you're increasing the price by 10% on every type of part that you have and you have 1 million different types of parts in your database and you issue a committee statement so in order to update this these 1 million records a database writer might take hours the log writer simply has to do what log writer simply has to do is to simply write this statement to online redo log files that's it so it will take fractions of a second instead of hours that are taken by database writer background process so what happens when database writer is in the middle of writing something and you lose power to your computer to your server you still have that you still have this statement either here or here to rerun the statement and then store this data and make database writer process to write and store this data back to the data file and that's how you that is known as recovery so you don't want to lose any committed transactions this is your database well part of your database and this is your data file one of the one of the data files okay and this is day one so on day one at the end of day one you have a number of records in your database at the end of day one you decide to back up your data your data is very important so you make a copy of your data file and you store this data file this copy on a different disk day this would be the situation so you back up copy because it is on a different disk and it is not an active data file at the end of day two your active data file will have more data as compared to the data in this backup copy next day you lose your data file something goes wrong you you mistake you delete this data file so what do you do so you try to copy this data file from your backup and you copy it to this location from where this database can use this data file and start writing it again but this data file is missing a lot of data so what you simply have to do you have to what is known as recover your database by recovering your database what will happen you rerun all the DML statements that were stored in your archive redo logs or sometimes in online redo logs as well 
and you rerun those statements and you recover your data bill so in that way you can have all committed transactions back to the point when you lose your active data file so these are the concepts behind the backup and recovery i hope you learned something thank you very much